Welcome back to Free Code Camp's JSON APIs and AJAX section. This is Get JSON with the jQuery Get JSON method. And it says you can also request data from an external source. This is where APIs come into play. Remember that APIs or application programming interfaces are tools that computers use to communicate with one another. Most web APIs transfer data in a format called JSON. JSON stands for JavaScript Object Notation. You've already been using JSON whenever you create a JavaScript object. JSON is nothing more than object properties and their current values sandwiched between a opening and a closing curly brace. These properties and their values are often referred to as key value pairs. Let's get JSON from FreeCodeCamp's Cat Photo API. Here's the code you can put in your click event to do this. So they give us the code here, copy that. Once you've added this, click the get message button. Your Ajax function will replace the message will go here text with the raw JSON output from the free code camp cat photo API. So if we put this here, basically what this is doing is when our get message ID button is clicked, it will run this function. This function will make a git request to this URL, which in reality is just being added to the end of FreeCodeCamp's URL. So after FreeCodeCamp.org, if you were to put slash JSON slash cats dot JSON, it would actually give you a list that we can actually look at real quick. One second, copy this, go here, and just do dot com paste that ending and if we go there you guys can see this json file so just so you guys understand that this is making a request here and then once it gets the response back it runs this function which will select the dot message class which from last lesson we seen is here the message will go here and we're going to update the HTML with that JSON that we're getting in and we're stringifying it passing in that parameter JSON which is what we're getting back so if we go ahead and click this button let's see what we get back and as you guys can see we did get that back if I go back to so we can see it's the same information now placed here so with this we're able to organize massive amounts of data by making these requests. And we'll find out more on the next lessons. Let us just run this test. And as you guys can see, we did pass. So what you guys should take from this lesson is that we are making a GET request to FreeCodeCamp server and retrieving this cats.json. And we're passing it into the dot message class which originally says the message will go here and when a click event happens on that button it will run this code which will select dot message and update it to have that json that we're getting back from our git json request and again we will go more in depth in the following lessons to how we can organize that data see you guys on the next one